We are in AP Calculus Lesson 1-9. Our objective today, Diego, is to know when to use and then use IBT, EBT, and MBT in a variety of problems. Yeah, so it's knowing not only when you can use it, but then how to actually use it. So, and this is going to be a very short lesson, it's, it's blank notes, there's nothing on the back. In here, I just want you to know what you need and what it proves as simply as possible. So, Giorgio, IBT, it needs one thing. To be continuous. There it is. And Giorgio also, what does it prove? What one word does it prove? Height. Done. It proves yes. height. That's as simple as we can make it. If continuous, then it proves heights. If you want a little bit more of an explanation, I can do that down beneath. In general, we'll have two points, something like this, and then we make a rectangle between those two points. And every single height inside that rectangle hits at least one time. So that's our picture representation of IVT. It proves heights, but it has to be continuous. All right. Alden is up. EVT, what do we need? Uh, continuous and closed intervals. Continuous and closed. I'm just gonna say closed because there's really only one thing that that means. Closed interval, and what does it prove? Um. I forget what it proves, but I know the other one. What was that little chart you drew at the bottom left with IVT? So this chart down here was my picture representation of IVT. You usually are given two points. You make a rectangle from those two oh, points. Yes. And then every single height in between those two points will be hit at least one time. Oh, it This is probably going to be the most useful notes, even though it's the shortest. Right. I can tell you what the next one proves. <laughs> it proves two max words. Is it proves a max or it proves a minimum. And it's only the existence of the said maximum and minimum. You don't need to write this, but I'm going to. You usually will not see the word maximum. You'll see something else. I'm going to reinterpret the word maximum, and reinterpret the word minimum. Does anyone know it offhand? No? Yeah, you're gonna give it a shot. Um, F. Oh. Huh? Oh, is it the greater than oh. or equal to? Then less than or equal to. Exactly. I, so I, I just that wrote this down. <laughs> some point is greater than or equal to all, or I guess the height at one oh, point is greater than or equal to the height at all points. And same thing with the minimum. The height at some point is less than or equal to the height at all points. You don't necessarily need to know that for the, the easy peasy notes, but you should know it in your back pocket because that's how you'll be seen on the AP test. And then finally, Diego, MVT, it needs one thing. Differentiable. It needs to be differentiable. Can we just count this as the summary or do we actually? Yeah, you don't have to do a summary. Okay. <laughs> It needs to be differentiable, but there, I mean, if you want to add one cool fact about this, then again, it's technically cheating because differentiable implies what, Diego? Continuous. Thank you, Diego. It does imply yeah. continuous. So it's technically I, two I things, it's differentiable hand. and continuous, but you know, just from this one word, differentiable implies it's also continuous. If I have to have no sharp corners, no vertical tangents, it also means I can't have any uh, holes, gaps, vertical asymptotes, and endpoints. Cool. And what does MVT prove? What one word? Slope. Yeah. There it is. Slope. Or average rate of change. Could you repeat everything you just said about differentiable to the Watson? So differentiable. There. And I'll, I'll, let's just write down here the definition of differentiable. Because it's a big one. It comes up over and over and over again. Differentiable. There are three bad things. So it has none of the following. So no, and I'll do one, and then one will have part 
A, B, C, and D, two and three. These are all the different pieces of what it means to be differentiable. You cannot have what? Give me one thing. Discontinuities. Discontinuities, says Alden in sharp corners. Corners, says Diego, good. And what's the last thing, Giorgio? Um, vertical. Vertical asymptotes. Nope. Wait. T that's, yeah, that's the, okay. Vertical tangents. If you need picture representations, a sharp corner is a sharp corner like a V. Vertical tangent comes up and it is a slope of infinity. Discontinuities, there's four things that you need to know for discontinuities. Yeah. Yeah, we have gaps. Shut them out. Vertical asymptotes. We have VAs. Holes. Holes. And at the very end of this list, we have endpoints. End Those are all of the things that will make you not differentiable. So as long as you avoid this list, you are therefore differentiable. But part of the definition of being differentiable is you can't have any discontinuities. So if you are differentiable, then that means you didn't have any discontinuities or you are continuous. EP. Cool. And again, these will be on speed sheets that we'll be having over and over again. But that kind of concludes the notes, except for, I could add one little itsy bitsy thing. There is a formula that goes along with this slope thing. And it is on our speed sheet as well, but we should put it on our notes as well. A lot of as well as today. What is the formula for MVT? Uh, you can go, Diego. I called it out earlier. No, I'm sure. Are you sure? I, I'm positive. Diego, yeah, make it. F of, can I say C or something? F prime. F prime of C is equal to F B, F parentheses B minus F parentheses A over B minus A. And George, are you going to do the hard part? Interpret the mean value theorem. What does this thing say as simple as possible? The slope of C. Slope at, what is C? Any point. Some point. Some point. Is and specifically, to... and I, I should be, I have said this, you are saying it correctly, but I want to go ahead and add on to this. I'm building it up enough. The best way to teach is to teach something that's wrong but gives you the general idea and then show you why it's wrong. This is technically wrong because it's not just slope, it is the instantaneous slope, it is the tangent line. So I'll go ahead and say the, the tangent. The tangent slope has to be equal to what, Giorgio? The average of the two functions. The average, what is this? This is kind of like the change in y over the change in x. The average of the slopes. The average slope. The slope at one point is equal to the average slope between the two points. That makes sense. That makes sense. Cool. Those are all the, the really big things to take away from this lesson. There are a lot of other tiny things we have in our speech sheet. I think those are the really big ones, though. Cool. How well do you have all of these big definitions memorized between the theorems, where you're differentiable, what is a discontinuity, how do you have MVT, the slope, formulas, all that memorized. Everything on this just page. Five, just five, five, just everything on half. Just everything on this four, page. Yeah. Then five. Yeah. All right, next.